Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four Invisible Woman Walgreens exclusive. Um, so we're going to look at the front of the package. It's got a nice window, it just says Marvel, Le or just says Legend series, Fantastic Four, Invisible Woman. There's a little Herbie robot right there. It just shows Invisible Woman on this side, same on this side. It shows her out of the package. And does a little bio right there, which you can read. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and get her open and check her out. All right, guys, so here is Invisible Woman out of the package. Um, she's really nice. Actually, I really like this figure. Uh, definitely by far the best um, Invisible Woman that we have on Legends form, at least to me. Uh, the ones prior to this was the one from Ronin Wave, and then we also got that two-pack one with Human Torch that was Toys R Us exclusive way back. And then before then, it was just those massive box sets uh, from Toy Biz, which I never really, I used to have them, I just never kept them because they just looked god awful. So it's kind of nice to get a nice redemption, or re edition of Invisible Woman. Alright, guys, so first off, we'll just start off with the accessories. So she does come with one uh, interchangeable hand. It's more of a translucent, you know, turning invisible hand. You can swap out on the left hand since the right hand's already going invisible. But again, you know, I'm excited to get these uh, this team going. Uh, I hopefully we get Thing. I know we'll be getting. Um, Human Torch very soon, and then Mr. Fantastic. So hopefully we'll get things sometime soon. Here's a little Herbie bot. Uh, I like him. I think he looks really cool. Uh, we did get him once in a Toy Biz box set, which I do not have. So I can't do a comparison on the two Herbies, which is kind of a bummer. But maybe one day I'll pick him up and I'll be able to do a better comparison. But I like his little the smiling face. Just got the nice uh, bright yellow paint on the sculpted eyes and mouth and a little black plastic in the background but he's done kind of in a white kind of pearlized plastic looks really cool he is articulated on his head he's got a nice little ball joint so you can get him looking down side to side you can get him looking up pretty good there's his downward motion cute little guy he's got a nice little green paint application on the front this little button he's got this little stomach here it's light blue and nice green in the middle and it's all sculpted but one thing I really like is the little stand he comes with. It's a little translucent, I don't know if you guys can barely see it, stand. And it just kind of plugs in this bottom. And there you go, and I'm kind of hovering. Hopefully you guys can see with this you know, white background. But I think that's cool. Hopefully we see more stands one day, maybe. Can we please? I think that would be cool to get little uh, figure stands with our guys. But there's Herbie. All right, so going into Invisible Woman. Uh, I think her head sculpt looks great. I think it's got nice, she's got a nice, you know, pretty friendly face. Um, it's not overly expressive, which is kind of cool because, you know, you can get them kind of more looking just, you know, like heroes, you know, they're just kind of, they're not angry all the time, but they just look good. Mine does have a little, I don't know if you guys can see it right there on her mouth. It's like a black line. I'll have to get, kind of try to rub that off. Uh, kind of a bummer, but eyes are looking straight. That's important, but I could not tell. Never mind. I was just talking. Uh, but she does have like, kind of like a dirty blonde hair. It's nicely sculpted and it's kind of squishy, not squishy, <laughs> kind of rubbery. So which is kind of nice. So it's pliable. So when you're posing her head around, um, you don't have to worry, really worry about her hair hindering articulation. But she's got nice blue eyes, uh, a little, you know, red lipstick or pink. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it's just a good looking uh, visible woman head sculpt. I really do like it. I do like the suit. It's kind of it's the classic looking Fantastic Four suit that I remember. Uh, she's kind of got the dark blue around the collar. It's got the four right there on her chest, which looks nicely printed. Um, doesn't look like it's bleeding over or anything like that. It looks really good. Very cool. And I love how this arm is translucent all the way up to her, pretty much her shoulder. You can see. But right here, I just love that. I think that looks awesome. Maybe, maybe one day we'll get a fully translucent visible woman. I hope so. I think that looks really cool. I like how you kind of see the black from her glove. Very cool. And then you can see the regular arm, which is the light blue with the glove. I think that's very cool. She's kind of got a regular gripping hand. But let's pop this out and check out how this looks. This is probably how I'll have her, just like she's completely fading out. I think that looks really cool. And then coming down to her stomach, she's got that light blue. It's got a little black belt, goes wraps around her. She does have a little peg on her back from... McCabe, I forgot who uses this body. I mean, they use this body kind of quite a bit. But anyway, it just continues the light blue, and then it has the boots at the bottom just painted on. And got some wrinkles on the toes there. But looks good. All right, so I'll go into articulations. Our head looks down very far. And it looks up. 
not that much, but you do see the neck joint. Uh, it looks left and right, and you kind of get it rocking side to side. Ball joints in the shoulders, they move out that much, forward and back. No upper um, bicep swivel, does have a joint, single joint at the elbow with rotation at the elbow, rotation at the wrist along with the hinge up and down. Ab crunch or joint at the waist is crunch slides forward about that much, slides back further. Uh, it does rotate there. No waist swivel, kicks forward about that much. And spreads not very far at all. Got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. No boot rotation, ankles move down, they move up, and pedals spot his feet, her feet, and ankles do have the little ankle walker. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how tall Invisible Woman is. All right, guys, so Invisible Woman stands right around a little over six inches tall. And little Herbie here, he stands a little over, th just under three inches tall. And then we'll go ahead and bring in her comparison. All I have left is the Ronin series Hasbro uh, Invisible Woman. So I am very happy to replace her. So you can kind of see the... Oh, Herbie fell on the ground. Height difference. And just, the, you can just see how far Hasbro has come. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Look at the face. Immense difference. I mean, you wouldn't even think this is the same company. I mean, this doesn't even look like, this looks like from, from the, the 90s, like early 90s figures. But just, I mean, you can just overall see the comparison. And just the sculpts of the bodies, the articulation, so much better now. I mean, look at these knee joints. These are these really awful knee joints. And this figure used to go for, you know, a lot. Still does in the package because everyone wants the Ronin piece, but jeez. But yeah, so I'm happy, happy, happy that we're getting uh, replacements of this team. Hopefully, I really hope we get things soon. Uh, Human Torch should be hitting stores very soon. Um, it's been popping up in Canada, so hopefully we'll be seeing him popping up. He looks awesome. But yeah, there you go, guys. That's my review on Invisible Woman. I am very impressed. I will not like, oh, that's the best figure ever, but I'm impressed in the sense that this is definitely the best Invisible Woman figure we've gotten to date. And I'm, yeah, I can't complain. So hope you guys like it. Um, please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great night. Take care.